I'm back. So, obviously, I got cut off. Um, so, anyways, I was just saying that, you know, um, tell people how you feel before it's too late. Tell them you love them. Tell them you appreciate them. I always regretted every time that so I've lost somebody. I always felt like I wish I would have spent more time with them. I wish I would have told them how I felt about them. Um, and mad at myself because I let myself get caught up in stupid bullshit that never even mattered in the grand scheme of things. Um, a petty argument with somebody online when something drastic happens in your life is that petty little fight that you had earlier today does that matter anymore no you don't even think about it that's not even a thought in your mind it's, it's gone so if it's not something that you're going to look back and think on years from now it's probably something that's petty you know um and i myself and a lot of other people have said things that they can never take back over something so petty. Um, so that leads to the next tweet I made, which was, you know, let's warm each other's hearts and um, say something kind to somebody instead of tearing each other down all the time. And that's really what I want to start trying to do. Um, instead of just tearing each other down constantly and making each other try, trying to make people that I don't like feel bad about themselves. How about I make the people that I like feel good about themselves? I mean, I can still, you know, kiki and get in on, on the drama and all that, but I don't have to be mean. I don't have to be unnecessarily mean. Um, I don't have to pick on people's looks. Um, and that's something that, I've always wanted to talk about, um, that I just really don't like, but it's not my call to make when other people do it. Um, it's something that I try very hard not to do. Um, I'm sure I have done it, and especially back in the day whenever I didn't think the way that I do now, um, I wasn't as grown up. Of course I went for people's looks. That's the easiest thing to do. But that's kind of the issue. That is like the lowest hanging fruit to go after somebody's looks. Um, and that's why I do respect a lot of these uh, Chantel Foodie Beauty channels and uh, Amberlynn Reed channels. Because 90% of them, now there's some out there that are really nasty and they say really nasty things. And those are channels that I just won't watch. But 99% of the reaction channels that are out there go based on those women's actions. There is enough disgusting, vile behavior in those people's actions and personalities and characters. that They don't have to talk about their looks. They don't have to talk about their weight. They don't have to talk about anything appearance-wise. And I respect that. Now, if you're somebody that does go, you know, in for looks automatically, because I've had people come in on my looks, I don't really let it bother me too much. Um, I'm of the opinion, if I don't care about you, why would I care about your opinion? And most people that are going to say something hurtful to me are people that I don't care about. Um, now, if it was one of my friends that said, you're an ugly bitch or something like that, that would probably hurt my feelings a little bit. But... At the same time, that's like the lowest thing that you could say to me. That's like the least thing that I'm going to take seriously that anybody could say to me is, and this is the one I always get, is that my makeup sucks. Your makeup looks like shit, or you need to do this, or you need to do that with your makeup. And I'm like, bro, it's makeup. It's meant to be fun. If It's like art. If you have to have rules in art, it's no longer fun. Like, if you have to follow rules, you can do anything you want with your art. And my face is my art. If it looks shitty to you, cool. I don't care. I like it. That's that. But anyways, whole point being is that we don't have to talk about each other's looks. Um, and 
I always admire the people that don't go after people's looks because then their word means more to me. As soon as somebody has to go after your looks, they've lost the fight because they don't have enough on your character, on your actions to go after that they have to pick something so trivial as your looks, something that you can't change or help without, you know, plastic surgery or whatever. But um, you can change your your personality if you really want to try or if you really will will try um you can change bad personality traits um but anyways the whole point is is let's just let's try not to tear each other down let's try to like you know if you don't like somebody just don't say anything at all well that's that's not um what's the word i'm looking for that's not um realistic obviously we can't just ignore everybody um but we we don't have to go in on people for unnecessary shit like pick your battles basically um because there's some people around here that just go in on everybody if you say anything they're going in on you and they that's all they get done doing is going in on people like there's no way that they do anything else in life other than make videos calling people out, um, or making live streams calling people out. That's their life. And how sad is that? Um, Bun, Bunny, on, um, what did her name used to be? You guys know who Bunny is. Um, she made a tweet the other day, yesterday, I think. It was basically like, if you find it funny sharing truthfully Trish's mugshot then if you stuck up for me whenever my mugshot was shared around but now that it's truthfully Trisha and you're share all sharing her mugshot and you're laughing about it um if you think it's okay because it's her then just unfollow me and that's probably another thing that really clicked and made me want to make this video because I mean it's true and that's 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 where being hypocritical comes in you know it's always so different whenever it's your friend it's happening